What's up guys, in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through seven shots you need in every wedding film. And I can get them all on the DJI RS2. And huge thanks to DJI for sponsoring today's video. So the first thing I start with is called the flat lay. So for example, we've grabbed the flowers, we've grabbed the shoes, we've grabbed the rings, the wedding invitations, the vow books. And the next thing is just showcasing each detail with some very cinematic movements. So first I'm gonna get a wide shot of all the details. I'm doing a very subtle pan a parallax, just very subtly. Honestly, what you're seeing right now is the most movement I'll do. Again, very subtle movements. I'm shooting in 60 frames per second. And this is the top down rotation. All I'm doing is twisting the RS2 clockwise, like so, watch this. Keeping my composition focused on the ring. So those are the two movements I'll usually do, parallaxes and top down rotations, and I just get a lot of variety for all the details. Detail number two is the bride's dress. You wanna shoot a wide variety of pan ups, pan downs, parallaxes, push ins, pull outs. Just get a large variety of shots and movements to really highlight the dress as it's hanging here. You just wanna fluff it out, make it look pretty, make it look elegant. This is a very easy dress. So this is a nice composition. You have the dress framed up perfectly in this big square. We're gonna try parallax. Very subtle steps here. I'm now on the 35 millimeter, so I can do a little bit more movement without it causing a disruption. So with the bride sitting down in this chair, applying her makeup and you know writing in her vow book, I get to kind of show the dress in a different position than when she's gonna be standing for the rest of the day. So we'll get a few shots of that, and then we'll get a few detail shots of the bride in front of the window with great lighting to make her look uh, as stunning as possible and highlight all the different features on the dress. All right, shade and three, two, one, and action. Detail number three is the cake. What I like to do is first get a lot of wide establishing shots to show off the cake and where it's at, and then I'll move in with a tighter focal length and get some details of every layer of the cake, the frosting, the flowers, the stand, the utensils, the decorations, everything to really show how beautifully made this cake is. Detail number four is the wedding venue. I throw on a wide angle lens. Right now I have on a 14 millimeter and I wanna show off the whole venue as a whole. So I'll start off with a few push-ins, a few pan downs, and then I'll change focal lengths and get some detail shots. First things first, I'm gonna do a pan down. So I start in the ceiling. I put my follow speed to 15, so it's a little bit faster than we're used to because I'm doing a very fast walk. And as I'm walking down quickly, I'm panning down to reveal the arch, which is the main attraction, right? Detail number five is the groom's suit. I just kind of film him naturally getting ready as he would. So the first thing is he's fixing his cufflinks, buttoning those up. He's gonna button the top button on his shirt and then grab his watch, put that on. I'm gonna let Tanner do the entire movement as one. All I'll be doing is doing some subtle parallaxes and action. And the last thing is put it on the suit coat. All right, Tanner, I got three, two, one, and action. Detail number six is tables, dining chairs, food, plates, silverware, diningware, all those little details that really add to the aesthetic of the wedding. So this table is a really beautiful table. We got some nice details on it. We got some nice sun flares coming through the back window. Here's an example of what not to do. So here's a shot, right? A subtle, you know, maybe a push in a little bit. Shows the table, it looks nice. 
but there's no depth, meaning there's nothing in the foreground or in the background that really highlights and separates the table from the shot. So if I'm highlighting the table and I create and I put something in front of my frame and in behind my frame, which is gonna be blurred out because of my low aperture, now all of a sudden the table stands out so much more. So let's change positions a little bit. So I'm gonna shoot past these chairs here and also past these florals and have the table in the background. And then because I'm adding layers now, the background has a few layers. So that's now blurred out and separated as well. And let me show you that shot now. Got some nice little pedestrians. Can I have you guys go in the back room for like one second? Sorry, or just over here. Sorry, just once. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Thank you. Never let anyone get in your shot. Okay, so here's that same shot. And now I'm adding a slight parallax. So I'm parallaxing past these tables, chairs, and florals to reveal the table. So all of a sudden your attention is drawn right to the table because there's things in front of it and behind it that are blurred out. And the table is the only thing in focus. And the before and afters are insane. And shot number seven is nature. Every wedding video needs beautiful shots of nature. The surrounding landscape, the trees, the mountains, the sky, just everything that surrounds the wedding. For me, nature shots just elevate a wedding film. Showing trees swaying in the wind and clouds passing by adds a sense of wonder to each shot. And it makes the wedding film feel more beautiful when you're showing the beautiful creation of this earth. Whenever I get to a venue, I go outside and I shoot as many shots as I can of the surrounding trees and anything else to really add detail and add element to my story. And more often than not, those shots help transition scenes and are great for adding detail into your story. But you guys, that is it for the seven detail shots that every wedding videographer needs to put in their films. Again, huge thanks to DJI for sponsoring today's video. And you guys, we are just scratching the surface of what we teach inside a full-time filmmaker, where not only do we cover camera basics and every genre, we have an entire section dedicated to wedding filmmaking. How to post couples, how to shoot ceremonies, how to book clients, how to negotiate with clients, and how to price yourself. We also include in-depth tutorials on how I color grade my films, and multiple full-length job shadows where we can see how I shoot a wedding from start to finish. If you want to learn more, click the link below. But that's it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and if you have any further questions, please let me know.